good morning guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be talking about five fragrances that exude feminine energy so by this i mean soft ladylike elegant just that epitome of sort of girly flirtatious feminine energy um, i recently got a new fragrance in my collection that to me is the perfect example of this and that's kind of what inspired today's video so i hope you're interested and stay tuned if this is your first time here thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail my name is alithia and on this channel we do talk mostly about perfume we also sometimes do a little bit of home decor tours minimalism decluttering things like that so if you're interested then stick around and without further ado let's jump in so this plant I actually salvaged from Walmart and I really love it's called a cat palm um, I can't remember the long name for it, but basically it's a tropical plant. It's like a palm leaf type of plant, which I really, really like. I love tropical type of plants and tropical decor in my house. I currently have quite a few plants. Actually, I went a little crazy buying plants, but I love these guys. The only thing was they only had one left in stock and his leaves, the ends of his leaves were not doing so well. He had quite a lot of like brown tips, but he also had this sprig in the middle that was like a fresh healthy sprig so I knew that his roots were still good so anyway I took him home and I gave him a little trim and I'm trying to um, kind of salvage him and nurture him back to health but it's really funny because my cat acts like it is her job to monitor the plant and she gets up every morning and she goes and sits behind there and she looks in the dirt you know how sometimes you get a plant and there's like a little bug or something like a little tiny fly this guy I don't think he has like too much of that going on I haven't seen any bugs but she for some reason thinks it is her day job to sit here and monitor the dirt <laughs> the candle that I'm burning here is actually a Christmas candle I'll turn it around so you can see um, it was actually one that my mom gave me I think it was really inexpensive it was from the dollar store but it just smells really nice it smells kind of like um, gingerbread and baking and vanilla and uh, I actually like the color of it I don't like the label but I just kind of turn it around and it looks really nice with my decor and it smells just like very soft and pleasant okay so the first fragrance that I'll share with you guys today is Gucci bloom so of course this video is about perfumes that exude femininity and specifically sort of a classy femininity so this was definitely one of those perfumes that jumped out at me when I thought about that this is such a a timeless elegant beautiful floral scent that being said it is a white floral there is some tuberose in here I think the notes are tuberose jasmine and Rangoon creeper and Rangoon creeper is supposed to be like a honeysuckle type of a fragrance so if you've ever smelled honeysuckle it's got a very sweet like bumblebee-esque <laughs> kind of a vibe to it it's a very like honey sweet type of scent and I don't love a lot of tuberose scents. Like I've told you guys, I have a really hard time with tuberose. It has to be done a certain way so it's not too bubblegummy and overpowering. This to me is like the perfect tuberose fragrance. That Rangoon Creeper that's in here and that Honeysuckle that's in here just really tones it down a little bit and makes it very sweet and feminine and elegant and just beautiful. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just one of those beautiful spring summer fragrances that I think we will be talking about and still wearing for many years to come. This one, very elegant, very pretty. Um, it has this kind of expensive feminine floral sensuality about it so love gucci bloom the second fragrance that i'm going to talk to you guys about today is actually new to my collection so i was kind of waiting for some new stuff to come in before i made you another video because i didn't want to talk about the same ones over and over um, but this one is new i have wanted this in my collection for such a long time you guys i didn't think i could get my hands on it um, i think it's still available in the united states at sephora but i could never find it in canada anywhere i looked i could not find it Thank Thankfully, one of my girlfriends um, kind of is on the inn. She lives in Montreal and she knows all the best places to get stuff like this. And she bought me a bottle and then I purchased it from her. So this is Replica Lipstick On. And you guys, if you've never smelt this, this is incredible. This literally smells like lipstick. It smells like you're putting on lipstick, but in the best way possible. So this actually has notes of heliotrope in it, which is a little bit almondy. It's kind of like an almondy flower, and you definitely get that when I spray this on my skin. I definitely pick up on an almondy vibe, but it's not an off-putting true almond or like a bitter almond. It's just a beautiful, soft powdery almondy vibe. There's also iris in here which gives it that powderiness and then there's a heavy dose of tonka bean as well and so it does have a very vanillic quality to it and I do have it on my forearm right now. Oh, It's so good you guys. 
Oh, currently it just smells, well, it definitely still has that heliotrope. It definitely has an almondy touch, but it smells like just a very chic, sort of old fashioned type of lipstick and with a with a bit of vanilla mixed in. I almost pick up on like a bit of a cherry liqueur vibe too, like a teeny tiny touch of a cherry liqueur vibe, which is weird because there's no cherry in here. But you guys, you have to try this if you can get your hands on it. I love the bottles, the replica bottles. This is the second replica fragrance that I currently own and love. The other one is Jazz Club. Um, this isn't incredible for performance. It doesn't have like beast mode performance, but it's not poor either. It's not super weak. Um, it's definitely a a little bit more of a like skin scent like get closer come hither um, sensual so that's why I decided to include it in today's video it's a sensual feminine romantic type of fragrance perfect for a date night but also has a little bit of power to it because it's got that it's got that timeless feminine lipsticky you know, femme fatale boss woman type of elegance to it. I picture, um, I picture a really beautiful woman just done up in the fifties with like a beautiful red lip and her hair is done up perfectly. And she's just looking super seductive and super feminine. And this one I would wear for a date. I would wear it for cozying up on the couch in the evening. And I think this would also make a great layering fragrance. So I haven't tried layering this yet, but because it's so soft and so kind of linear, it's kind of that linear lipstick smell. You could probably layer this with any vanilla fragrance and it would smell incredible so love this you guys I also have to say I just absolutely love the labels I love everything about the replica fragrances it looks so gorgeous and I would say I probably get about four maybe five hours lasting power with this before it's super super soft I love it so that is replica lipstick on the next one that I wanted to include was a La Vie Belle fragrance and currently this is the only La Vie Belle that I have in my collection this is the intense so not the same as the Intense. This is the raspberry vanilla version of the Livia Bell fragrances and I absolutely love this one you guys. So this is probably one of the most feminine fragrances I can think of in my entire collection. This is a sweet, fruity, raspberry, vanilla version of the original Livia Bell. So the patchouli in here is very underplayed. It is a touch powdery and it definitely does have that Livia Bell DNA, but it's I think it's one of the most far removed because this one definitely does focus on the raspberry and the vanilla. It is very sweet. It's very, very sweet. If you don't like sweet fragrances, you will not like this one. Um, but this definitely has to be one of the most feminine fragrances I have. If you want to smell girly and good and sexy and flirtatious and pretty and quintessentially feminine, um, then this is one that I would definitely go for. Yeah, and I really, really like this one. So that is La Vie Belle Intensement. The next fragrance is from Juliana's Perfume. And if you guys haven't heard of Juliana's Perfume, they are a company that do inspired versions of other perfumes at a fraction of the price. And you guys, they have some amazing dupes. I've smelt, I think, everything that they have to offer. I do work with Juliana's Perfume, so they send me their fragrances um, when they have new ones for me to check out and to review for you guys. And I have to say, their products are spot on. And and this fragrance, you guys, I have been raving about for months. This one I did purchase with my own money. Um, I sampled it a few months ago. I fell in love with it. I immediately ordered a bottle. So this is Red Carpet Affair. This is supposed to be a dupe for Guerlain's Angelique Noir. And essentially it is a Angelica Vanilla Floral Fragrance. If you haven't smelt Angelica, Angelica is like this green herb or plant that has a very interesting sort of a fresh piney nature about it almost like a pine needle type of quality and it's just so beautiful and so elegant and so unique and what i really get from this one aside from that gorgeous angelica is a lot of vanilla it's just a beautiful elegant easy to wear vanilla fragrance it's so beautiful you guys it's so beautiful and there's something about it that just really exudes this feminine sensuality. It smells very like black tie affair appropriate. This smells like it could be worn for a formal occasion. I would definitely wear this out for a date um, to a fancy restaurant or like an anniversary dinner, something like that. I do overspray, I'm team oversprayer, so I don't notice any issues at all with performance with this perfume. I have heard a couple of people say that it didn't last long for them. I don't notice that to be the case at all. And when you order from Juliana's perfume, 
it is full to the brim. Like it comes very, very full. I have been using this actually quite a bit. It's hard to tell, but if you kind of turn into the side, you can see that there's a bit missing. I've been loving this, you guys. This is just such a beautiful, feminine, easy to wear vanilla fragrance. I can really smell this wafting off of my skin throughout the day when I'm wearing it as well. And it just smells so pretty and so elegant. And actually, because of lockdown, I haven't been going anywhere. So I've worn this to the gym a couple of times and it's way too dressed up for the gym. Like it's way too dressed up for that kind of occasion. And every time I smelt it, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this doesn't work. Like it doesn't work with the gym. It just smells too expensive and it smells too ritzy and just perfect for that elegant feminine night on the town with a beautiful red dress and some high heels. And the last one on my list is Delina Exclusive from Parfum de Marly. Now I do apologize if you are not new to my channel, then you've heard me talk about this a hundred times and or a thousand times. <laughs> and I know it's a broken record at this point, but you guys, this like I've told you, this is the epitome of femininity. For me, this is probably the most feminine, chic personification of a woman in perfume form. That's what this is. This is a woman in perfume form. It is so beautiful. It is so elegant. This is a rose and vanilla fragrance. There's also some lychee in here. There's a little bit of woody notes in there. It's just this delicious, smooth, sort of cashmere vanillic rose scent. And there is truly nothing quite like it. Delina and Delina Exclusive, there is nothing quite like it on the market aside from inspired versions. Another thing I absolutely love about this perfume is the bottle. I've told you guys before, even the bottle has this like feminine silhouette, this feminine shape to it. It has the little pink um, crystal on the lid. It's got the beautiful little tassels. And you guys, I just, I can't get enough of this fragrance. This is one that I think performs the best in the summertime, so I don't wear it in the winter. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you how much I love this fragrance. Um, I do try to save it for more special occasions, not like not like super, super special, but I mean like it has to at least be a dinner or a nice day date or something like that because I don't wanna just wear this every single day going to the post office, running errands. It's a beautiful summer fragrance, but it's so unique and pretty and elegant and it definitely for me has this unbeatable feminine nature to it. If you have smelt this one or the original Delina, comment down below and let me know if you agree with me that they have to be some of the most feminine, unique, beautiful fragrances available on the market today. I will still smell this the next day on my clothing with one spray. So longevity and performance is not an issue with this. Definitely get your hands on this if you haven't, give it a smell. I would say try before you buy because it just might not be everyone's cup of tea, but this is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. So that is a Delina exclusive from Parfums de Marly. So that was it for today's video, you guys. I'm really interested to know if you have a fragrance on your mind that you think is the perfect example of that feminine energy. I would love to know. I love smelling feminine and girly, and I'm always on the lookout for a new fragrance. So definitely let me know down below, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye for now.